Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm MJ with Spilly Teas, and today I'm going to show you how to put a picture onto a dark t-shirt using the Avery t-shirt transfers for dark fabric. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Please consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back and let's get started, shall we? Right now, I'm gonna start off with a simple search for a black and green checkered background. The customer would like those particular colors to go with some camouflage stretch pants. Now that I found the checkerboard background that I would like, I'm gonna save it onto my computer so that I can upload it in Cricut Design Space. This was a simple upload. There was no editing that I had to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the cut image. I kept the original picture on the board so that I can get it as close as possible to the design that I'm making. I'm gonna start off with a square and I'm gonna make it green. Now I'm just sizing it to make sure it fits within the checkerboard correctly. Now it's time to add the text. And I'll be doing it three times to make it three lines. Over on the right panel, I'm going to change the color to white. I changed the background to pink just so that I can see the letters better. Right now I'm just closing in the space between the letters to make them close together exactly like the picture. Now that I got the letters close together the way I like, I'm going to align the rest of the words.
Now I'm going to select all of the words and group them together so that I can move them as one image. After I align them to the left. I now just need to get the words fit within the green square. That looks about right. And so now I'm about to group everything together once I get it aligned and then attach it so that the words will stick to the square and then flatten it so that it can all become one image and print together. Once you're done, make sure you save your image and name it so that you won't lose any of your hard work just in case you have any technical difficulties. In case you're making this image large and you don't know the measurements offhand, make sure you measure your image on the shirt so that you'll know what to put into Cricut Design Space and how large or small to print. Now it's time to print your image. Make sure you know whether to lay your paper face down or face up. Remember this is a dark t-shirt so we do not have to mirror this image. Before I send it to the printer, I make sure that I click the Add Bleed button off. There's no need to waste any ink. Now I'm selecting what type of material I'm using. When the printing is complete, I'm going to load it onto my mat and then into the cutter so that it can cut out my design. I lay that sheet of paper on top of my image because it's still a little damp and I don't want to smear any ink.
Now I'm going to go to the edge of the paper and just peel off all the excess that I do not need. One of the things I love about Avery Transfer Paper is that they have these splits or slits I should say in the back of the transfer sheet that allows you to peel your image away from the paper a lot easier. Now that I'm done with the image, I'm going to pre-press my shirt to remove any moisture. After I remove any lint that may be on the shirt. A good five seconds is usually good enough to remove mo most moisture from your shirt. I try to clean up nice for you guys while I'm doing these videos, but that was the dumbest shirt I could have wore in this particular video. I had to be very careful not to get it caught under the heat press. I made sure to use the five finger rule at the top of the neckline, and now I'm just going to align the image directly in the middle of the shirt. Make sure you grab your tissue paper to put on top of your image so that you will not press it directly onto your heat plate. Fifteen seconds later and it is definitely applied to the shirt. I use this glove because it's pretty hot to touch and I put another piece of tissue paper on top to smoothly press down the image. I flip the tissue paper over and press it again to make sure it's nice and sealed into the shirt for about five seconds. So there you have it. That's how you put a picture design onto a t-shirt. If you would like to purchase this Avery paper, 
I'll have a link below in the description for your convenience. Let me know if you purchase it. Leave me a comment. I may get a commission. I may not. I don't know, but I'll let you know if I do. Thanks for tuning in and watching my video. As always, have a wonderful day.